5,000 unsolved murder cases in the United States as we speak, forcing many who've lost their loved ones to find answers on their own. In the new ABC News Studios series, Web of Death, each episode showcases amateur detectives taking on cases police haven't been able to solve. One episode features a father's search for his teenage daughter's shooter. And that father is here to speak with us today. Kelvin Hawkins, thank you so much for taking the time. I do appreciate it. Thanks for having me. Yeah, I, before we get into this, I, I'm so sorry for your loss. This was back in uh, 2011. And I just want to know that as a father, my heart goes out to you even as we speak. Appreciate it. Thank you. Two months into the murder investigation, the police had no leads, no suspects. Is that when you felt you had to get involved to get some answers? Yes, I did, because they had a lot of information, but they were saying that they needed people to come and talk, but they had all the information all the time. OK, uh, you the, the investigation, a, as it was moving on, you eventually got involved with social media. Your social media posts led to real change. Let's take a quick look. This is going out to my daughter's killer. While y'all out there playing checkers, I'm playing chess. Sooner or later, I'm going to get my justice, and that's going to be checkmate. It led to the chief at the time to uh, task new detectives with the case. This is why we're having this rally today, because we need eyewitnesses. We need people to come forward so we saw that Facebook post. You spoke directly to your daughter's killer on Facebook. When the new detectives, as we just saw, were assigned to your case, how hopeful were you at that point? We had a lot of information out there, and I wasn't going to let it just go. I was in my room depressed for like three years. So, And as a father, your family, your wife, your kids looking upon you because being the head of household, it was time for me to get up and fight. I had disappeared on my family, not physically, but mentally. So I had to have, I had enough. I had to get up and fight. You know, we focus a lot about, uh, uh, you know, on what you did, uh, relatively remarkable, uh, and, and the case, of course. Um, but let's talk a little bit about your daughter. Um, how do you want people to remember Nikisha? Um, she was a beautiful little girl. Um, she was getting ready to go to school to be a relationship counselor. Um, everyone that came in contact with Keisha, they they loved her. Like if you can look on my Facebook page and you could see like how people talked about her, like her friends and like she was just she was awesome. Period. And then at my daughter's funeral, I made a promise to her that she would never be a statistic ever. And I meant that, and I did that. So I went to the police station, went live, and it went from me by myself doing this until 87,000 people mm -hmm. seeing it online, responding. I asked them to get the news media and everything because I wasn't going nowhere. Next thing I know, a crowd of people came to stand with me. The news came, and by then... I was like, ain't no turning back now. I'm going full-fledged. Yeah, and you did, and, and, and you brought justice here. Um, there are going to be people who are watching who may be in the same situation. Would you recommend that they embark on their own investigations? And do you have any, if someone's going to do that, do you have any kind of advice for them? You cannot show one ounce of you being scared. Because if you are, or you show one ounce, then it's all for nothing. I kept going and kept going and kept going. You can't show no fear. I was hurt. I was in pain. I felt that I had failed my family. So what else did I have to lose? I was willing to die to get justice for my daughter. Yeah, and, and you advocated for your, for your daughter, um, you know, as any father would. Thank you for taking the time, Calvin Hawkins, for sharing your story. Um, and just, just again, know that that, that my heart is with you because the loss of a child is something nobody should ever, ever suffer. No, a parent is not supposed to bury a child. A child is supposed to bury their parent. Calvin Hawkins, thanks so much. Thank you. And you can stream Web of Death now on Hulu.